Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash and Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow, and not really Supergirl, so today we're going to be talking about every Green Lantern Easter egg throughout the show's run so far. So if I've missed any, let me know in the comments down below, because I'm going to be listing and telling you guys about every Green Lantern Easter egg that I can recall. So, Merry Christmas guys to all of you, and thank you so much for the awesome support throughout the whole year. I've gained nearly 50,000 subscribers, we're just under 500 off of that amazing milestone and I can't thank you guys enough. So I'm running a Christmas giveaway to give my thanks and also wish you guys a Merry Christmas so just leave a like and a comment and subscribe to be entered into the giveaway to win any superhero film DVD of your choice. So it could be Wonder Woman, it could be The Dark Knight, it could be something from way back, it just has to be on Amazon so you can choose anything and I will reply to the comment if you're the winner and also be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you want to be updated as to any other giveaways or it would probably just be easier for me to contact you there so if you do have twitter please be sure to follow me at the dc tv show to be updated so green lantern is a character who is massive in the comics he is one of the main characters in dc and fans have been waiting for him to show up at some point on dc tv in the arrowverse so he hasn't so far but we've had tons of easter eggs so we're going to be breaking those down telling you about most of them obviously i can't point out all of them but most notably, Coast City has popped up tons of times from pizza boxes to visiting there. There has been loads of signs. And this is the city in the comics where Hal Jordan is based. And Ferris Air is where Hal Jordan actually works as a test pilot. And there was mention of a missing test pilot in the Flash season 1 episode when Barry actually told Snart that a test pilot went missing and that's why the place was shut down. And this is a massive easter egg to Hal Jordan actually becoming a Green Lantern because in the comics he actually goes missing for a while after a a test flight and he actually ends up on Oa and that's the first time he becomes Green Lantern so I believe that's just a massive easter egg to that and obviously we've seen the signs pop up everywhere throughout the flash throughout Arrow we've seen them a lot and that's just an easter egg to where Green Lantern how Jordan's actually situated but Probably the biggest one is in Arrow, we saw someone in a coat during a flashback scene, I believe in season 3, and it was with Oliver and Amanda Waller, where someone was wearing a coat that says Jordan, and many people believe this is actually how Jordan, and I think it could be true, but I think it's most likely just a big easter egg to hype you guys up, because when that actually occurred, everyone went crazy, the internet went crazy. So another easter egg is when Barry visited Earth 2 at his house, on the phone dial you can see Bruce, Diana, and how obviously massive easter Easter eggs to the Justice League, but Hal's name is actually on there, so that's an Easter egg to Hal Jordan. So in a season five flashback on Arrow with Talia Al Ghul and Oliver when he was doing his training, we saw a lantern, and this is a big Easter egg because the Green Lanterns in the comics have their own lantern which they have to take home and although it's probably just a normal old dusty lantern it's definitely intended to spark the idea that maybe the green lanterns do exist and maybe possibly someone left their green lantern here but also on another coast city sign which we've seen many times we see a partial part of the green lantern oath on this sign it says in brightest day in blackest night and then it continues with a twist with the traditional green lantern oath and obviously on the sign that's just a big easter egg to that but the original Green Lantern Oath is actually in brightest day, in blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power, Green Lantern's light. That's the full Green Lantern Oath that the Green Lanterns have to recite. So Faris Air is owned by Carol Faris, who later becomes Star Sapphire, one of Green Lantern's greatest enemies, but also is Hal Jordan's girlfriend. So obviously the Faris Air is just a big easter egg to Carol Ferris and her character in the comics and obviously as well Hal Jordan because he's heavily connected to Ferris Air and Carol Ferris. So the final easter egg that I want to point out is Obsidian and he is the son of the Green Lantern, the original one in the comics, that being Alan Scott and we saw him in Legends of Tomorrow Season 2. So that's an easter egg to another version of the Green Lanterns. We haven't really got any other easter eggs apart from, you know, the more generic ones like the lantern that we saw in Arrow Season 5. But I think the biggest ones are definitely to do with Hal Jordan. So they're definitely hinting towards it. I do want a Green Lantern to show up sometime or at least Hal Jordan, that would be absolutely awesome. So if I did miss any, please be sure to leave them in the comments below. And anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to enter the Christmas giveaway, I will be announcing the winner in tomorrow's video. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.